Yeah. <laughs> Jenny, you look so happy. What, are you in the background? Yeah. I'm trying to get my mic ready. <laughs> what a guy. It was early this morning. <laughs> yeah. Is that why you made us come first? <laughs> well, we didn't. We didn't. Uh, just did this on purpose. No. This isn't really, it doesn't look like an issue, but we ask that if uh, you please wear the masks, wear your masks while you're in here. Thank you. Kiss <laughs> <laughs> snitch here. Do we need no one? No, you guys are fine. Okay. Yeah. I think they just say for, if there are student athletes, coaches available to uh, have everybody wear a mask. I love those doors. I know. It's a really nice room. room. The cross between like all the sports and all. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have ice hockey in Michigan? That makes sense. We actually. have hockey, yeah. We're good. All right, everybody, welcome. Good morning. Thank you for attending. Uh, just a couple of uh, reminders, both for those in person and on Zoom. If you are on Zoom, please raise your hand and I will uh, get to you with a question. Uh, and also for you guys that are here, please raise your hand and we'll make sure that we got a microphone over to you or maybe not even needed. You just ask it. Uh, so we will, uh, first of all, get started with questions for Tegan and Paisley. Go ahead. Yeah, I guess, first of all, how have you guys been preparing for the Villanova this week? Um, what has that been like? Have you seen some of them? Uh, yeah, we, we know that they're a, a high, efficient offensive team. Um, obviously, they have the, the second leading score, third leading score in the nation. So, yeah, doing a lot of... Um, Scout and, and defense to kind of break that down and, sh and you know stop different different looks, but yeah, I think we've been watching a lot of film, um, and our coaches have a have a really good game plan for us. We do have a mic for questions. Okay, we're going to go to a question from Alex on Zoom. Good morning, ladies. At eight forty-six a.m. Utah time. Uh, I'm just curious, uh, how, was, how was the flight um, to, to Ann Arbor? How much fun did you guys have? How much were you talking about? Just kind of like, you know, this, this moment that you guys were, were about to embark on. Um, it was a good flight. We got on pretty easily, um, as all these private flights are. <laughs> Um, we had our band with us and we had our cheerleaders, so that was really fun. We were able to bring them on the plane with us and um, we're all really excited. We're, um, we were ready to get to Michigan. We expected a little bit of some snow, but luckily we came out to like 70 degree weather. So all of us were like steaming in our big parkas, <laughs> but um, yeah, it was a really good flight. Any further questions for the players? Go ahead. Uh, this is the last go around for a lot of you, a lot of teammates that are at this team. What are you guys trying to prove on the last uh, go around? Can we have you just ask that again with the mic, please? Yeah. This is the uh, last go around for a lot of you guys, um, lots of seniors, graduate students. What are you guys trying to prove on this last tournament run? I don't know if there's necessarily one thing we're trying to prove. I mean, I think everybody who's playing in March in general is trying to prove that they can win and they can compete. 
Um, but in terms of a senior or veteran mindset, I think, you know, all the seniors that came back, um, we love this team and we, we obviously love college basketball. So I think it's just the opportunity to keep playing with one another and keep playing college basketball. Um, and March is a fun, fun time and a very competitive time to do that. So I think there's just a lot of gratitude and um, excitement around that rather than necessarily one big thing um, that we're trying to push or one big thing that we want people to know about our team. We, you know, we want to win. Everyone wants to win in March, um, but we definitely want to win together. Making more memories and just enjoying the time, the last few moments we have of college basketball. All right, we're going to go to a question from Mitch on Zoom. But we definitely want to win together. Making more memories. And this is a question for both, both ladies. Uh, you moments, know, since Sunday, um, what, what have you learned? What stood out from your study of, of uh, sizing up this Villanova team? Um, they're a good um, five out cutting offensive team. They're really looking to get each other open in their offense, um, whether that's with the screens cutting off one another. Um, so that's something we play against every single day as BYU athletes, uh, basketball players playing against each other. So um, it's a lot of like reading that Jetty's taught us. And um, we haven't played against many teams like that this year. So I'm super excited to be able to play kind of like ourselves in that aspect. It's kind of like a good matchup in that way because I feel like they they play a predominantly motion offense and so do we. So I feel like it's going to be an interesting matchup to see kind of which team, you know, sticks to their game plan and which team has has better principles with with defensive kind of motion guarding. Any further questions for the players? All right, we have one more from Alex. The defensive kind of motion guarding. So, um, ladies, how rested do you guys feel right now as a team? And um, how how is that going to maybe um, conflict is the wrong word, but, but that idea with, you know, the fact that you guys fl flew yesterday, right? You're in Ann Arbor for basically a day before you play at 11 in the morning. Well, not 11. 11 in the morning, our time, at like 1 p.m. So a pretty early game tomorrow. Yeah, I think there's a reason why we came a day before. Um, so <clears throat> obviously it's a two-hour two hour difference, but everyone in the country has to fly all over the place to play in March. That's, you know, that's kind of the whole point of, of March Madness. Um, so I think we're, you know, definitely mentally and physically ready to go. Our coaches do a really good job, our whole staff does, of preparing us. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's something that we're necessarily worried about right now. Anything further for the players? All right, thank you, ladies. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. You guys are dismissed if you'd like. Dismissed? You can ask me a question. Do you want me to? <laughs> <laughs> All right, questions for Coach. score in the country and uh, sorry, Maddie Segrist, how are you scheming around that, trying to prepare to face her defensively? <clears throat> well, you know, where this team has improved from early in the year is that there's more players that have scoring and more players that have been able to do things offensively for this team and not all on her. And uh, she's definitely one of the best players in the country. Uh, we'll have our hands full. Uh, it, it won't be one person that can just totally shut her down. It has to be a team defense that can help and try to not let her get baskets easy. Um, but she does a great job with scoring in so many different ways. She can s score from the outside and drives and post-ups and rebounds. So she's kind of a nightmare. It's, it's a real hard matchup. And I think we have three or four players that – have had to guard somewhat players like this and they can match up and you'll find out real quick tomorrow we'll find out real fast what 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 we can do i think the nice thing is we have played against some really good players in the past last year we played in rutgers a really good offensive player and she scored her points but she earned them she had to work hard for them so 
Um, I think we're both of us, we, we do play really team kind of basketball. It's not a one-on-one -on -one game, so it's really key to play everybody well. So it'll be a challenge. We're excited for it. Okay, we have a question on Zoom from Alex. Really team kind of basketball. It's not a one-on-one -on -one game, so it's really key to play everybody. that Paisley yeah, and Tegan were talking about, that you guys with Villanova are ostensibly playing yourselves in a way. Is that what you think, Alex? You think we're playing? I, I think we're very similar. Um, I think we have um, the way that we play with our offense, motion, and our defense. We're very, very uh, similar to each other. Uh, we're a little bit different. We set a little more ball screens than they do. But... Um, you know, who knows what's going to happen? You, you know, teams go out and they get a good feel of each other and what they can do and how they can score, and um, that's what that's kind of where I'm excited. We've got a lot of veterans that have been through this. Last year we went through this, and and they're excited to to really get going and and, and playing. And um, this team has just come out. We we have to play our game. We can't let them get us out of what we try to do best. And and. Uh, that's where the kind of the key is. We have a question on Zoom from Mitch. Yeah, Coach, how, how critical is it in March Madness setting for star players like Shaley, Paisley, Lauren Gustin to be the stars that uh, they've been all season to if you're, if you're going to try to advance in the stage? Well, first of all, you know, um, it's a great opportunity for these players to play in the NCAA tournament. It's the most exciting tournament that they probably play in, in their life. And so to be able to come here and be able to play against all good teams is really exciting for them. And they've been waiting for this. This is something we've worked hard. All the sacrifices that you make all summer and all during the year is to have the opportunity to be here. And there's only 68 teams that have made it. And uh, so it's exciting that we're one of them. Um, I think I think what's hard is is in the West we don't get the recognition that a lot of players get. And I think my players, we understand that a little bit, but they're not going to put pressure on themselves to try to go out and do something great. They're just going to go out there and be themselves and play their game, and they'll just show that just by them just doing the things which they do every single day in practice and 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 uh, you know those three players you mentioned are very good we also have two or three other players that really help this team and um, this team that I've noticed this year with us it's been a team effort it hasn't been one or two players that totally dominate the ball or dominate everything these guys have played together and it's what makes it fun f for me as a coach to coach that kind of team because I don't know who's going to have the best matchup tomorrow. Um, and that's what we'll take advantage of. Got another question from Alex on Zoom. To coach that kind of team because I don't know who's going to have the best matchup tomorrow. Uh, coach, how deep we'll do you anticipate of. your bench going? How, how do I anticipate my bench? I expect yeah, them to come in and so do what they've done all year. Sarah come in and be really active and rebound and be aggressive in the post. Smither come in and defend and do whatever she needs to do for our team to win. And then Nani to come in and hit some hit some threes and 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 defend too. Um, we do have a very good bench. I'm, I'm excited about it. They've played a lot of minutes this year, um, and I'm I'm not afraid to put them in one bit during the game. And uh, yeah, we've had some. You know, we had during the year we had some players that had to miss games because of injury or COVID, and these guys have, have all stepped up. And um, this is one of the deepest teams I've had in a long time. So, I think our bench is a real key to this tournament. We have a question for Mitch on Zoom. This is one of the deepest teams I've had in a long time. So Coach, uh, last year you, you guys were so tournament. just kind of grateful to be in the field, being one of the last teams in. What's maybe the uh, the demeanor, the approach from the team and their preparation this week for, for tomorrow's game? Well, we didn't have to worry um, on selection day that we were going to get in. We knew we had 
we basically did our work to prepare ourselves to get to the NSA tournament. Um, but you know, my seniors came back this year to come and play, to come play in this tournament and be able to do what they need to do. And we're just going to take this as as just another game. We're going to be prepared the same way for it. There's no pressure. We're going to come out and play our game and and come out and just do the things which we have worked so hard. And you know, I heard the question earlier that hey, you have a long layover. Well, everybody has. Most of the women's games played their games a week ahead. So it's going to be it's going to be more even that way, but uh, we just want to come out and just play BYU basketball, and have a lot of fun and enjoy the opportunity that we have. Um, I've told I've told my team many times that you know, too many times you get into a tournament and you just you don't think about how how great and fun it is and how hard you work for it, and so we want to take full advantage of that in this in this game tomorrow. Any other questions for Coach? <laughs> One of your own players. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, so your team has broken a lot of historical records so far this year. What's one memory that you're going to take away from this specific team that you'll remember for the rest of your life? <laughs> you guys being a, being a bunch of knuckleheads now. Um, this team, we had, we had a record this year with 10 three-pointers by Tegan in a game. We scored uh, more points this year than any other team that I've had. Um, we've had players come in and come close to a couple triple doubles, some of my players. So stat-wise that, but what I remember about this team, Paisley, is their competitiveness, their love for the game, their love for each other, their uh, hard work. I've never had a bad practice this year with this team. And that's, that's hard to say. You know, there's so many things going on in a college student's life. To not be focused all the time is, is really uh, very, very unusual. And so to be able to have that and then be able to have a team that, that were really competitors. I've never had a team say, coach, we need to go more. Coach, we need to go longer. Coach, we need to do this. And the two of you right there are the main, main characters that, that really bring that up. I have another question from Mitch on Coach, Zoom. We Coach, we need to do this. And the two of you right there. Coach, you the noted earlier that uh, you know the West Western region doesn't get up. as much coverage uh, with women's basketball. Do you feel like uh, you, this team needs to deliver a big run to validate uh, all the successes it had in the regular season? Um, I think it really will help. I think uh, I think if we can we can do some damage and show people that there's a lot of good basketball in our our conference and also out, out in the West. Um, I kind of understand it. You're two hours ahead of us and a lot of our games are late and you can't watch them all. So hopefully we got a good time. We play at one o'clock, which is a good time here in the East and it'll be good for our fans to be able to see us. But we just want to go out and just do our best and play our game and uh, whatever happens, happens. Any other questions for Coach? All right, Coach, thank you so much. Hey. Best of luck tomorrow. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's hard. That's hard. Not seeing people ask questions. <laughs> Get the hardest hitting questions from your players. <laughs>